Hey guys, it's Kiko and welcome back to that Tommy Girl. So lately I haven't been able to upload a lot of videos because I've been really um, exploring and visiting spots around Montreal including Toronto and Toronto was amazing. I loved it. I only spent I think three days over there and I loved the city so i thought that i should share with you guys this little trip because i think that i've done quite a lot in three days and i've eaten so much that i just have to share with you guys all the food i've eaten so i believe that we woke up at like 5 a.m and i was so excited i couldn't even fall asleep in the car and here you can see my sister just started wearing contact lenses and she's not quite used to it so it just fell off in the car so now she's trying to get it back in her eye with her dirty hands but she did it so good job Jen unfortunately during the three days that we were there two out of three um, it was raining a lot but we still enjoyed it so that's good So our first stop was homemade ramen LLBO. And this is a place that my sister recommended. She, she like a lot of her friends told us to go and we got a bunch of food. I don't know what my parents and my aunt and my sister got, but I do know that I got um, the cold noodles because I don't really like soup. And whatever I ate was incredible. And yeah. So I'm just showing you guys what my parents got. It's really cute how my parents just stopped eating when they knew that I wanted to f get some shots of the bowls. Okay, so after lunch, we went to Toronto's Eden Center and I don't know why, but I felt the necessity to film you guys me shopping because this shopping mall was huge. It is so much bigger than any malls in Montreal and I really wanted to go to three shops that I've never been before and I know that only like Toronto has it and Montreal doesn't, which were Muji, um, Uncle Tetsu and Uniqlo and I wasn't able to go to Uncle Tetsu but oh my god I swear Muji was everything I wanted to get every single thing in there I spent so much money but I know that I'm definitely not gonna regret it because I'm gonna be using them in uni and as for Uniqlo it was really um a unique store and I find, found it really interesting. I've been wanting to go to Uniqlo and um, Muji for a very long time so I'm really happy that I was able to do that. So as you guys can see I got a lot of books and pens and um, I only found out after I bought these that in uni people use laptops and not notebooks but anyways um, I'm still gonna make use out of this and I'm very happy and guys can you just take a second to look at my long hair i went recently to the hairdresser and he misunderstood what i wanted to say and he literally cut half of my hair off so now i have short hair and i'm it's been like two weeks and i'm still like not used to it and i really hate not having my long hair okay so if you're wondering who's filming half of the time, it's my sister. She was um, she was kind enough to help me film because I hate vlogging. <laughs> I just like get so distracted by the, re the reality that I just forget to vlog. So yeah, shout out to her. So what I'm wearing that today is like a Tommy top. Um, the overalls are from Salwi, I think. My shoes are from Fila, and my hoodie is from Aggie. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, so last stop of the day was the Pacific Mall and a food fest and it was so fun, it was so crowded um, I kind of get like moody when I'm in crowded place but this was really fun, I saw a lot of food again it's like I, we just can't get enough of food there was so much food that we wanted to get but one of the main things we absolutely wanted to get was to taste um, stinky tofu because me and my sister we've um, since we were little we've been watching um, like Asian TV shows and they're always mentioning smelly or stinky tofus and apparently it's like a must try like you have to try it at least once in your life just like you have to try at least once in your life durian so we thought we after f like many years of searching for smelly tofu we finally found it and i think i've literally waited 45 minutes in line just to taste these tofus that smell oh my god guys we thought it was like a dumpster that there was a dumpster nearby but it was actually the tofu that smelled like trash like it's as if they were like Im they tried to imitate the smell of trash and i just felt like i was eating trash but the texture was still tofu so i still loved it i like barely could eat like i think two or three my sister ate more than me my dad said that it tasted okay but after he really didn't want to eat any more my mom and my aunt didn't want to touch that at all it was just really funny to see everyone's like reaction So the next morning we went to a dim sum. I don't know what it is called and I'm too lazy to search it up but you can find those like kind of anywhere. And I mean it was just like all the other dim sum I've ever like eaten but one of the things I really like was the durian turnovers and I love durian. I don't know why people hate it. They smell. They say that it smells bad, but this does not smell bad compared to the smelly tofu. This actually, I find that it smells really good if you like learn to appreciate it. And it was amazing. So obviously, like typical tourists, we went to Niagara Falls as if I've never been there before, but still like it was super pretty. And here, I just filmed some tourists taking picture of a seagull instead of taking picture of the waterfalls and I just found it really funny. Okay, 
So we had a late supper at 9 p.m. at the Fishman Lobster Clubhouse restaurant. And apparently it's a very famous and pricey restaurant that my parents and my my aunt really wanted to try. Um, it was very it was a very unique restaurant because they served us like huge lobster and crabs. Um, they were like out of proportions. But I have to say that it wasn't like amazing or exceptional. I'm like, I definitely found that it was way too overpriced. But we still had a really good time, so I really enjoyed it, and we we really had a good time in family. And what would a food vlog be if I didn't get some shots of me pouring tea into a cup, and obviously I spilled it everywhere? So. Yeah, so the people are just like showing us like the huge lobster and crabs. We got some general tao, you know, all the like typical Asian food that you would find at any Asian restaurant. But this, this huge pile of crab was pretty special. And we had to wear like gloves to eat this because it was so messy. So the next morning, we went to Ripley's Aquarium and apparently it's a very known aquarium and we saw a bunch of um, sea animals and fishes and whatnot <laughs> and it was really fun because um, honestly, if I went with my like sister and my older cousin it wouldn't ha wouldn't be as fun as going with my um, little cousins because they really enjoyed it and just like seeing the reaction and seeing them taking like a thousand pictures was just like one of a kind and we saw some fish and some sharks which was pretty impressive and i just got some really nice shot that i have to share with you guys here you guys are gonna see sharks for like a, a good 10 seconds Honestly, overall, this trip was amazing because we did so much and I think it's because we went in a really big group so we had a lot of activities to do and I just found it amazing. I, I really love Toronto. We've been there for only three days and I swear I just want to move there. I wanted to move there but it's so expensive and I just couldn't afford it. I really wanted to go to Parsons um, Fashion School. But anyways, I really like Toronto and I hope I'm gonna visit Toronto pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Honestly, I'm mostly doing this vlog for myself and my family so I don't lose these memories. But I feel like it would be nice sharing it with you guys. Anyways, hope you guys are having a nice summer and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.